Today is gonna 100% be controversial. It's gonna probably piss some people off, which shouldn't piss people off, but I feel like it might piss, but it's definitely gonna be, even if it doesn't make people mad, it's gonna be controversial. Even though we're really trying to settle controversy, I think there will still be a lot of back and forth in the old comments below. So today we will be attempting to settle or at least supply some objective data points to debate over if pellet smokers or traditional offset smokers reign supreme in the backyard pantheon of smoking them meats. In order to try and give both a fair showing, we are using two flagship models in their respective categories. For team offset, we will be using a mill scale 96 gallon offset smoker. For team pellet grill, we will be using the new Traeger Timberline XL. For the Traeger, we will be using the Meat Church Signature Pellets, which are a blend of post oak and hickory. Now, I don't have access to post oak in my area, but trying to keep this as fair of a fight as possible, for the offset, I will be using blackjack oak, which is the oak in my area, and hickory. There's a little bit of difference there, but they're both oak and hickory, so I feel like it'll be close enough that there shouldn't, that shouldn't really factor in. Also, in trying to keep as many variables out of the cook as possible, I will be using four racks of the same ribs, and we'll be using the exact same seasoning on all four racks. Now, we all know there are many other variables that might make someone pick a offset over a pellet or a pellet over an offset. And we'll touch on a few of those later, like convenience, skill level, the actual experience of using the grill. But today is really more about the end result. We're really trying to look more at the end product produced rather than features and functions of the grills themselves. Now, I will be having some friends coming over later today and we will be blind taste testing the ribs at the end and voting to see which one reigns supreme. I think that sets it up pretty good. Gotta get outside get this meat seasoned up so we can get this thing going. Cause well, you guys know, smoking ribs takes a while. It's not like it happens in 10 minutes. Pretty rib. All right. We did an easy kind of no fuss seasoning. I didn't want to go too crazy on the seasoning because being that we're trying these two in between, we didn't want the seasoning to fudge it up. So went with a little bit of Lowry's. Mike Lowry. Mike Lowry. Well, how do I know it's Mike Lowry? Cause I'm Mike Lowry. A little bit of uh, Holy Gospel from a dude meat church and some good old black pepper. By the way, speaking of black pepper, I don't know if you guys saw in the footage of us doing the seasoning. And this isn't a sponsored situation. I have no affiliation with these guys. I actually paid an absorbently ridiculous amount of money for this thing. This thing's called the, what's this thing called out? Pepper cannon. Pepper cannon. I mean, it, it's crazy. It's crazy, right? I mean, it, <laughs> it's like a, each turn is like a table, not tablespoon. Probably a teaspoon. teaspoon. It's ridiculously expensive, but it is like, it's all aluminum and I mean, it's dope. If you have $300 to blow, pepper cannon for sure. We got both the smokers warmed up. Trigger XL over here, mill scale offset over here. Mill scale's running at 275. Traeger's running at 251. Gonna probably cook a little bit cooler on the Traeger than I do on the Mill scale, just because the mill scale likes to run at like 275 and it does really good at 275. Generally, I do like a three to three and a half until the, I'm getting a little bit of pullback and the color looks right. And then I wrap them for like an hour and then pull them. By the way, all the ribs provided by Porter Road. You guys, this is not sponsored by Porter Road, but uh, they did provide the ribs for this video. So big thank yous to those guys. If you guys haven't checked out Porter Road, I'll link them down below. Awesome meat from that place. All four racks of ribs from Porter Road, all spare ribs, all trimmed the same, all seasoned the same. Two racks are going on the Traeger, two racks are going on the mill scale. See how they cook. Let's get them on the grill. My buddy Tom is here today. He's been helping me cook 
and he's gonna be one of the guys we're gonna do the blind taste test so we have a, a cross section not just me and my wife but anyway it's it, they've been on for almost an hour so we're gonna check them here in just a second to see if after about an hour it's actually been about an hour and 20 minutes if there's a noticeable difference on if the offset or the Traeger is doing better at putting some color on those ribs and get that nice kind of mahogany red kind of color you're looking for in ribs before we do that I was gonna ask Tom if he had a prediction as to if, if he thinks the offset or the trigger is going to win. The time and effort, the offset better win. <laughs> yeah, well, and that's the thing. There's more maintenance as far as like keeping up with it. Like you can't leave your house for three hours. Absolutely. I like a pellet grill for when I'm busy. It's a weeknight. I don't have time to be sitting outside, you know, monitoring a, a smoker or I've got to run errands for the day. I could throw something on the pellet grill, let it smoke. It's done when I get home. I can monitor the temperature from the app and then I still get some really good barbecue. Absolutely. Now at the end of the day, if you have some plans to hang out with your buddies, drink a little beer, drink a little whiskey, are you gonna get a better product on an offset? I personally think so. I, I think so. I, I, I think so. And you're getting lucky. I mean, you get the real wood. Yeah. You know, it's, it's also an experience. Too. It is. It's not just set and forget. It's, and it, it's fun. And it's more of like an art form, right? You, yeah. you, you, it's a skill. <laughs> you have to develop a skill. So before we get the final results at the end of this, my prediction is the offset does produce better barbecue. But in my backyard, there will always be a place for a pellet smoker and an offset. Oh, absolutely. Easy. That's just, that's just my, that's my, my take on the situation. Yeah. But let's get a, a look-see here and see after it's been an hour let me check, check that time. it's been an hour and actually an hour and 36 minutes it's the color test it's, it's the color <laughs> test let's see what we got let's see what we got the offset let's see what we got Ooh. Oh. they're looking nice i'm not gonna lie they are looking real real nice that's a nice red color see down there you can see the little little flames licking in the firebox mm. Now the trigger. Let's see. Ooh. Now the lighting's a little different. The offset is over there in the shade, and this has got some sun hitting on it, so these are looking a little more orangey. It's kind of hard to see, but they're also looking real good. There's some real good red color going on there. Might not have been the best picture for you guys because the lighting was very different, but just from looking at it, it's close. It, it would be hard to go. They're, they're, they're neck and neck. They're ne I would say. I would say the offset is edging out the Traeger just a little bit. Now that doesn't mean they're going to taste the same, but at an hour and a half deep, they're both putting really good color on the rib. So we'll check back in another hour or so. Ah, let's take a second to thank the sponsor of today's video, Shaker and Spoon. If you're not familiar with these guys, what they do is every month they send you a nice little box of goodies like such. It is filled with all the syrups and bitters and everything you need to make cocktails. So every month you'll get one of these boxes. You'll get three recipes made up by professional bartenders that have mixed this all together and made it just perfect. And all you have to do is add your favorite liquor. The one we chose to make for this video is the Choco Facto. Comes with a nice little card, tells you all your recipes. They're supposed to be our rocks glasses, okay? Over rocks, like a big uh, ice cube like I normally do. But we currently have a demo going on in our kitchen. So we've got ice cubes and I can't find my strainer for my, so I'm, my finger is the strainer. It is what it is. Point is you don't have to have a lot of stuff. They send you just about everything you need so you can make it happen. Ooh, that's really good. I think it's really good. Oh wow. You can taste the chocolate. It smells like Coke and yeah, it's like a chocolatey Coke. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I get the chili threads. There's like little chili threads in there. I don't think I get anything spicy. <laughs> hey, 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 whoa, whoa. I <laughs> know you can have it. You want it? Good. Let me get one more sip of it and then you can have it. It's a monthly subscription kind of situation. It's a really fun thing if you're into cocktails to try out some different stuff that you may not have heard of. Be good for um, parties or be good for parties, date night, any of that kind of stuff. What's the discount? Um, code Sires for twenty dollars off your subscription. So we'll link that down below. So you can click that link, get twenty dollars off, and try some tasty beverages. Here you can make up to like what is it? Twelve drinks. Up to twelve cocktails with each box. This would be good with ribs. A little whiskey with your ribs. I mean, come on, let's say whiskey and ribs is always a. You can never go wrong with whiskey and ribs. Never. It's good. 
Thanks to the guys for Shaker and Spoon. We need to go check on those ribs, speaking of. All right, peeps, it has been exactly two hours and 41 minutes. These guys are off of the Traeger. Got some bones poking out, definitely time to wrap. We got good color. And these are from the offset. So same deal, got some bones poking out, got really good color, and we are about to wrap them briefly. Although with all this bone poking out on some of these, they're probably almost done. I might need to wrap them for very long. But looking at the color, if you were to compare, I would say slight win offset. These two are offset, these two are off the Traeger. We got a little better color over here, a little more even. These, you got a little bit of more uneven, got a little bit of fat render on these guys. But overall, all some delicious looking ribs. We're gonna get these guys wrapped up though. We're gonna do a real simple wrap on these. We're just gonna do a tiny bit of barbecue sauce. Gonna do a tiny bit of this uh, Cosmos rib glaze, pineapple rib glaze. And just a touch of beer, just to have a little bit of moisture in there. Give that a little mixy poo. This is one of the offset, looking like a snap. Get them wrapped nice and tight. Add some rib rack uno. We're just gonna do this with all of them. I might speed it up at this point so you guys are having to watch all this. All right, two for the offset, two for the trigger. Going back on for, I don't know, we'll check it in like 30 minutes. All right, it's been like 45 minutes with them wrapped. We've unwrapped a couple of them and put them back in there in little, little, uh, see that situation? little foil boats just to kind of let them settle out. This one wasn't quite done yet, so we're letting that one rest just a little bit longer. Over here, we are letting them both kind of chill for a few. Anytime I get done after they've been wrapped in foil, I always kind of like put them, turn them back around, put them back in there just to kind of dry that uh, bark up just a little bit. I don't know, that's just what I do. Some people don't, some people do. That's just my thing, but they're almost ready. I would say another 15, 20 minutes, and it'll be taste test time. Just pulled them, and that is all four of them. Let's see, back this guy out just a little bit. These two are the ones that came off the Traeger. These two are the two that came off the offset. If I had to pick, I would say these have a little better color to them to me. But man, it's, I mean, you can see, that is real close. What do you think? When you took them off earlier, I could clearly tell the offset ones looked a lot darker than the than the Traeger. Now they look pretty close. They're pretty I can close. I can still see the difference that you were talking about. But, but like, just visually, they all look good. They all look good. But if you had to pick, I mean, this isn't the pick because if we're going to blind do it. If I had to pick on looks, I would pick um, offset. Tom, if you had I'm, to pick, I'm probably going to stick because with. Looks, I'm probably going to stick with Allison. It looks like there's more. Um, these look phenomenal. More and no, these, crust. Uh, these look great. Yeah, because these would mine look like when I cook them. <laughs> and you know what's weird is this one rack. This one oh, and this, this one is one. pulled off. Now these both cooked on the same grill right yeah, next to each this other. This one looks more like the offset. Well, it? there's far more pullback on these for whatever reason. Yeah. But the true test. Can we do the taste test now, please? They're Can we just, do the taste test? I know what you guys are saying. You showed them what wood and their color. They're going to know. But they're so close in color once these things are chopped up and they're on plates. Nobody's going to know what the hell's what. Let's get cut. Let's get, I don't know if you guys can see that. This is the offset and they are some juicy, juicy boys. All that red smoke in there. Next, the Traegers. They still look real nice. I think they're gonna compete well. Still not as much of a smoke ring, but still a really nice smoke ring. Nice and juicy. Good looking rib.
something. They're gonna make a turn. <laughs> it's dripping. All right, quit eating, bitch, and try the no, second one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this one's better. Mm. This is juicier and more, I think, a little smokier tasting. What's your vote, champ? Look at the bottom of the plate. Traeger. They picked Traeger. <laughs> oh, man. Between the two, would you say way better, close, just for... Oh, it's close. It's close, the but these were juicier. Juicier? The difference was the... Uh, was the flavor different or was it just no. the juiciness? So so the juiciness, juiciness and the tenderness. And, well, and the, I could taste more smoke. On oh, oh, the yeah, Traeger, more smoke. Yeah, you could taste a lot more That's smoke. an interesting thing because most people say pellet smokers cannot put out the type of smoke oh. as an offset. No, you can taste the smoke. The juiciness, I will say, could have been a little bit of different in the rack, right? There could have been a little more fat in that rack, but that's interesting. You want me to try another one? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Now I'll taste the other side. And Jarrett, you taste this one. I think about the one no, you just no, ate. No one. Which, <laughs> which one do y'all like better? This one. Allison? I like this one. So you're like, okay, so Caden and Jarrett like the Traeger. Allison, also, offset. Is like, you gotta bite it, you're like yanking the I like a little bit more. Um, it's, it's more uh, tougher. I like that though. <laughs> All right, we oh, you should have toughness to a rib it shouldn't fall off the bow all right me and chris are gonna go last here now yeah we are i think i know which one's which so we're gonna take my opinion with a grain of salt but chris definitely does not know i have no idea so we're gonna taste one of these and one of these okay. and you're gonna tell me which one you like better you got it you got the same beard problem i have mm -hmm. it's eating ribs on camera is a fucking nightmare it is that's a good rib pretty damn good rib i'm not mad at that at all Very smoky. real smoky I'm going to let you go first because I, I kind of know which one's which. I think that one's got better flavor. I think this one's more tender. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Both very good though. Both taste very similar. That's what I was going to say. I totally disagree with y'all in saying this one had more smoke. To me, this one mm -hmm. is way smokier. This one does not have as much smoke, but it is more tender. These are the mill scale. These are the Traeger. If I had to pick, I would go with these. I think the flavor's better. These were a little more tender, but that could have been me not pulling these ribs just a little early. These didn't have as much pullback, so maybe if I would have left those wrapped for another 30 minutes, they would have tendered up a little bit. But this, these are 100% smokier than these. I like the flavor on these better. Mm -hmm. So if you had to we pick between the two, would you go with more tender or more flavor? Ooh. Because we need, we need a vote for which one you like so we can see what the tally mm. is. Mm. <laughs> mm. I just want to keep eating. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd probably go with the more tender because the flavor is like, this is like 90% of the flavor, but 120% of the, the tenderness. Well, you know, that's funny that you say 90% of the flavor because that's my whole thing about pellet smokers in general is people give them a lot of hell because they you can't, in my opinion, you don't get quite the density of flavor with the you pellet smoker as you do with offset. Good. But you get 90% of the way there with a lot less trouble and a lot less effort. So what's the final totality? So that's two. Me and you were offset. Me and you were offset and one, two, else three. Else Four. One, two, four. three, four. Four. Five. So two to four in favor yeah, of the of the pellet smoker. One, two, three, four, and Caden. Oh, Caden said, did okay. he say pellet? Yeah. I'm a finish. So bro. six to two. Five. Six to five. Five. Two, two to five. Five to two. Five to two. Five to two. So five to two. Five to two. That's going to be a controversial decision there. I know because in the last video when I said everybody was like, well, I know which one's going to win. Everybody thought the offset was going to win. So that just goes to show you, you get a good pellet smoker with some good pellets. It's close, man. Mm -hmm. It's close. I will say for my own palate, I disagree with that vote. I do think the offset have a little deeper flavor in their smoke use. But man, those Traegers are so close. That's why I can't believe y'all thought those were had more smoke. No. That's wild. No way. That's what I say. It was instant I could tell the difference with the smoke. <laughs> Chris likes to lick the bone. What can I say? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> He's like, I'm out. That's it. I'm done. I'm out. Fun video. A lot of rib cooking. It was a fun day, though. 
hopefully we don't get blown away by a tropical storm here in a couple days. <laughs> We're gonna have to prep for all that stuff. What, what's your closing thoughts on the, the, the decision of the blind text? When it comes to the offset, I love the offset smoke. Right. This is not a taste test thing. I love the cooking and the tendon and the camaraderie and right. having fun. Mm -hmm. It's just really tough when you can set it and forget it with yeah. the Traeger. It really is. And that's what I've always said about pellet grills, right? A lot of guys that are diehard offset guys, and don't get me wrong, I love an offset. I mean, I bought that mill scale with my own money, but offset guys that say that pellet grills can't do a decent job, I just, I don't think they've given them a fair shot. Maybe years ago, pellet grills kind of sucked, but I mean, pellet grills have come a long way. I still think offsets are probably my all time favorite for the same reasons he said, yeah. just because it's, there's kind of a little bit of an art to it and there's something about hanging out and smoking all day and putting logs in there and there's something kind it's of man uh, stuff yeah it's man <laughs> shit exactly um and, and i do personally even though the vote did not go that way i do personally think the offset gives you a little deeper smoke flavor that oh, I it's really, a lot more richer that i really enjoy but i mean votes don't lie and those guys didn't know which one was which i have no vested interest i have both grills right <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, people are gonna say, "Oh, well, you're, you're a Traeger. not biased at all." <laughs> yeah, you're a Traeger guy. Or you're a Mills cat. Well, I'm not either. I, I have both grills, and I love them both. And that's why I always tell people, if you can get both, I would usually recommend getting a pellet grill first because I use my pellet grill more, just because it's the convenience it's of convenient. set it and forget it. Right, weeknight. Well, You've been working all day, you want to throw something on the smoker, you oh, don't yeah. want to sit and tend to a smoker for three hours, you throw it on the Traeger, Bob's your own. Well, you got to think, I mean, you, you fire your pellet grill up. Right. Literally 10 minutes later, you're ready to throw something on right. the smoker. <laughs> Go inside and watch the football game or do whatever you want to do and monitor your temps on your, your app, you know? But there isn't that like man thing of like throwing logs on a fire you get with offset. Yeah. So I say get a pellet smoker. That way you have something to conveniently smoke. They do a great job these days. It's very close. Some would say even better than what you get on an offset. Yeah. Buy yourself an offset for when you have the time. Well, I will say when it comes to the pellet smoker though, I do believe the pellets do play a key role oh, yeah. in whatever. So sure. don't just go buy, don't go to the grocery store and buy pellets. <laughs> some, peop some people say they don't like the Traeger pellets. Uh, there's a couple other companies they prefer to use because they say Traeger pellets aren't good. But I mean, those are the Meat Church. They're uh, Post Oak and Hickory pellets yeah, oh, is what I, it is. It was, it was great. I mean, I don't know, man. <clears throat> a whole bunch of people voted and said that they actually thought that it had mo more smoke than the offset, which I don't agree with, but hey, my heart still goes with the offset. I think that's the more fun thing to do, but the pellet grill just... Well, there's more of an accomplishment. When right. With the offset, it's like, I made this, I am man. <laughs> it's, it's like the guy, it's like Tom Hanks and yeah. passed away. I made fire, I fire. Made fire. <laughs> I don't know. Call it what you will. That's the result we How got. about this? It was all great. Afterwards, they actually did, we didn't do it on camera, but they did blindfold me. So, oh like, yeah, I, we did. Because I kept telling them I thought the, the, the mill scale ones were smokier and had more flavor. They're like, ah, nah, you just because you knew what it was. And they even tried to trick me because they gave we me. We gave them three Traegers, tra three back Traeger to back. <laughs> back to back. They, they, kept, they kept giving me, here, try this one, try this one. They gave me three Traegers back to back. And then as soon as they gave me one of the mill scales, I said, that one's the that's offset. the offset. It's smokier. So, you know, it is what it is. It's all smoking. It's all meat. It's all fire. It's all good. It's all man shit. Do what you want to do. Have a good right. time. Have a cigar. Have a Coors. Coors Light, baby. Eat your meat. Not beat your meat. Eat your meat. <laughs> Dude, I took a drink. <laughs> all right. Well, that's that. The Traeger, according to the votes, won. I don't know what to say about that. I don't know how to feel about it. <laughs> I don't have a dog in the fight. I have both grills. I love them both for different reasons. Uh, I did find the results interesting personally because I really personally think offsets produce deeper, richer flavor. To me, it was always just the argument of whether it was worth the extra work because pellet grills do a really good job these days. But then there's the joy of using an offset. There's the convenience of using a pellet. So I kind of like them both for very different reasons. At least that's some data points for you guys in the ever evolving conversation of what is better pellet grills or offsets. This is actually the next day I'm filming this because after we ate all those ribs, I was really full and we had a lot of other barbecue and we had friends over, so I just wanted to enjoy the evening. But to close this video out, I did want to do our drawing for last week's winner of this guy right here, all natural veg tan. Uh, you're not gonna be able to see it because of focus. Bad motherfucker. <laughs> this is a 
Pulp Fiction homage uh, wallet I did with the good folks at OpenSea Leather. I think we're gonna try to drop those, depending on when you're watching this video, this Friday, the 7th. Yes, Friday the 7th is when we're gonna try to drop them. So keep an eye out for that. I'll link down below, so if you're watching this after the 7th. We didn't make a ton of them. I think we made like a 100 or so of these or maybe a little more, I don't remember, but we didn't make a ton, so it will be a limited kind of thing. Whoever wins this giveaway, we'll probably get one before everybody else because we're doing the giveaway now. Let's do the drawing real quick. The winner is Whiskey Night with C and J. That sounds like a YouTube channel. I feel like that might be a YouTube channel. I, I'm, I'm sorry I'm not familiar with your channel, but if that is, maybe go search for that. It might be a channel you guys might enjoy if you're into whiskey. The comment was, this garage looks amazing. Well, thank you, C and J. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for being subscribers. Thank you for commenting and watching the videos. Congratulations. And also congratulations on your channel if this is in fact, it looks like a channel. I think it's a channel. I don't know. Go check it out, guys. Maybe it is. If it is, give the guys a little love over at Whiskey Night with C and J. What do we want to give away next week? I haven't given away any Beard Brand stuff in a while, so let's do that. As you guys know, Beard Brand, a uh, partner of the channel, big fans of those guys, love them, and they sponsor the channel, so um, they give us products to give away to you guys. So we'll put together a cool little package of like some beard oil, probably some utility balm, and, and some other random assortment of Beard Brand products. Rules are as follows. You gotta be a subscriber to the channel, go ahead and smash that like button, Hashtags this week, let's do hashtag beer brand because that's who's gonna be doing the giveaway for this week and hashtag smoking them meats because well, we smoked a lot of meats this week and they were delicious. And we will draw the winner live next week. We're still unfortunately <sighs> having these annoying scammers that go through the comments. So if you guys get something saying you won, please ignore, it's a trap, it's a scam, piece of shit, useless just wastes of human life in there trying to scam good folks out of their hard-earned money. I think one guy told me they were offering, they said I was giving away a camera, or when the hell did I ever say I was giving away a camera? We always draw the winners live, so I will announce the winner live in next week's video, so if you don't hear this mouth say your name, it's a scam. Thanks again to the sponsor of this week's video, which was Shaker and Spoon. Definitely check those guys out. That is some cool stuff. Links down below for everything used in the video and all the sponsors and all that good stuff. So check out that and give all those guys some love. If you did enjoy this video, smash that like button. That always helps us out. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. We'd love to have you on board. I hope everyone is having a fantastic week and we will see you in the next video. Blind results are blind results. It's kind of like with whiskey. A lot of the times when you do it blind, You'd be surprised at the results you get. At the end of the day, guys that are really good at making barbecue can make good barbecue on a $100 Weber kettle or a pellet grill or a $1,000 offset or anything. Guys that are really good at doing barbecue can make barbecue in just about any damn thing. There's something to be said about that.